This painting is thought to be the first depiction of a steam locomotive in the world. The locomotive concerned is the Salamanca. It was built in 1812 for the Middleton and Leeds Railway. It was built by Matthew Murray to a four-foot, one-inch gauge for William Blenkinsop, who was the manager of the colliery. Three other were built to this design, and it was the world's first commercially successful locomotive, eight years after Richard Trevithick's Penny Down locomotive, and twelve years before Stevenson's rocket. The impetus to replace horses with steam locomotives because of the war in Europe. Many of the horses had been sent over there, and they required vast amounts of forage, so horses for other purposes were very scarce. These four successful locomotives and the colliery could function with 200 fewer men and 50 fewer horses. Salamanca could successfully haul 20 wagons full of coal, whilst Trevithick locomotive could only haul four. There was still uncertainty regarding adhesion of the smooth wheel against a smooth rail, and as a result, the wooden track was lifted, metal track replaced it, and a rack and pinion was used. Horses were also still being used, so the rack couldn't be placed in between the rails. It was placed on one side, and running to it was a single drive wheel off the locomotive and the pistons. The locomotives were so successful, they were attacked by Luddites, who did some damage to them. They had complaints against the introduction of mechanisation and the loss of jobs. A slight alteration had been made to the locomotives. The sound of the steam escaping from the cylinders was so loud that it caused stampedes amongst the flocks of sheep and cattle, and a silencer had to be added. This historic and unique picture by George Walker only exists because of the production of a book called The Costume of Yorkshire. This showed the various clothing that was used by people working in industry and other trades. Note the collier's clay pipe. Many hundreds of thousands of these were produced by industries, such as the Nant Garu China Clay Works near Kaifili.